blanket, check. Pillow, check. Guard dog, check. <sighs> These are the requirements for the movies that you're about to watch. And even trailers if you get scared of trailers. <laughs> thoughts here and this will be episode 16 is it actually 16 okay hold on i'll be back in a sec holy shit okay so episode 16 this would be my top 10 favorite horror movies so as you know there's been a huge change with me i shaved my widow's peak i know it's crazy Big change in my life so I don't know if I look better with the widow's peak or without it but I usually just shave it off because it's a nuisance and the hairs look like cubes now <sighs> what can I say about these movies uh, I love horror movies I love what they can do to you I love how they could basically make you feel what the character is feeling without actually feeling it. If that makes any sense. <clears throat> if I sound a little sick, that's because I just had the flu and I've been surviving. Kinda. <sighs> now. Now. When it comes to the horror genre, there are a lot of shit movies. And I know what you guys are talking about. I know you guys with your friends have sat down and said, let's watch a random horror movie. And when you pick the horror movie, it ends up being like, what did I just watch? That was really stupid. Why did I waste my time with this movie? And that's what happened to me when I saw the movie Clown. It's gonna be late. I physically cannot get it off. It's suffocating. One, two. Yeah, I saw that movie. Absolutely horrendous. I'm surprised I didn't skip through the movie and I completely regret watching it So what I wanted to do was make it a little bit easier on you guys and Make a top 10 list of movies that you probably haven't seen and that I think you'd really enjoy and if not I'm sorry. I tried my best Let's start off with my list. So first movie is Good night mommy Good Night Mommy is a movie about these two German kids whose mom just went through surgery and something happened after the surgery where she isn't acting the same, she's acting more scary and erratic and the kids are wondering why. So they're kind of seeing what the kid's perspective is on their mother. And the movie does a really good job of really freaking you out. I don't want to give anything away because if I do, it's going to ruin the movie. And it's a German movie, so you got to put subtitles. I know people hate putting subtitles for horror movies and stuff, but hey, America's not the only movie that does horror movies, and they're not the only ones who do good horror movies, so... Let's go on to the next one because this movie, it'll speak for itself when you watch it. It got the M. Night Shyamalan effect, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to say anything more unless you know his movies. Oof. Number nine. This movie traumatized me when I was younger. Uh, the Blair Witch Project. Not Blair Witch. There's Blair Witch and then there's the Blair Witch Project. Watch the one from 1996, if I'm not mistaken. The search of the three missing Montgomery College students continues in Frederick County tonight. Ten days and thousands of man hours have been unable to produce any clues. We have a few leads, a um, few other options we want to take advantage of and just try to put together some, uh, some pieces to this puzzle. So the Blair Witch Project is about three kids, three students actually, who go into the woods to try to figure out why all these experiences are happening. And unfortunately, while they're in the woods, they get lost. 
and the movie is basically them turning insane and shit and every night they're getting tortured and every morning they're getting more and more lost freaking wild uh fun fact about the movie the movie's budget was about sixteen thousand dollars and they gross over 200 million crazy and most of the movie is improv not many people know that uh yeah the thing is that whenever they got like whenever the crates were dropped basically they had low notes saying okay you're gonna be mad today you're gonna be mad at him today and you're gonna yell at him or cry about this and the rest of it was improv so highly respect the movie Shit is crazy, very well done, super creepy, and I completely got nightmares and never went to the woods for like a good year or two because I did not want to get lost in the woods. <laughs> Shit, spoilers. But I now, number eight. To all the pretentious moviegoers out there, so it's probably just me watching my channel and watching this, but um, next movie is called Antichrist. Antichrist, let me just say how the movie starts off. It starts off beautiful, uh, classical music playing, wife and husband having sex. Everything's in super HD and black and white. It's truly a cinematic masterpiece. And you see everything. They're literally having sex on screen. They show it all. Uh, and as the parents are having sex and making love, their three-year-old kid, the stupid... Two or three old kid that's stupid as hell, unfortunately. Oh, um. Gets out of it. This was my fault. His crib. Sees a window that's open, unfortunately, and jumps out. Da, da, da. I know, super dramatic. Now, yes, it's sad. I'm not. I'm not saying that a three year old or two year old slash dying is not sad. It's just. I'm not going to dwell on it. Now, what happens is that the wife and husband, obviously mourning over their loss, decide on going into a cabin in the woods and kind of find peace there and find a sense of like relaxation and stay away from the city life and the remembrance of their own kid. But as this is going on, the husband becomes more and more erratic and the wife becomes more and more insane. I want to die too. I'll stay with what fear is. Then you wanted to help me! And you kind of see how their dynamic as a husband and wife progress through the movie. It's really freaky. Easily one of the most disturbing movies I've ever seen. It's not scary, but it's a horror genre and it's very disturbing. And if you watch it, you'll be just like, you would be speechless, because that's exactly how me and my friend reacted when we watched it. We looked at each other like, what the fuck did we just watch? And just sat there in silence for about 10 minutes. So, let's bring it on to number seven. Number seven is The Witch. So, The Witch is about a Puritan family, most likely during the... Sandwich trials or something. Yeah. Don't have much details on this. For the kingdom of God. Let us pray. All I know is that when it comes to this movie, the whole entire vibe, mood, atmosphere, everything is so uneasy about this movie and it's hard to breathe while watching this because you're always on edge. You know how most movies, especially let's say jump scares, you have the build up and the snap. <laughs> After a snap, you can breathe again. This movie doesn't allow you to breathe. And uh, it really was a struggle while watching this movie because I was waiting for that big pop and it really makes you sit there and wait and tortures you throughout. So I highly recommend this movie. Oh god, I got very close in that. Ow, oh, my foot. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. Number six is Suspiria. Sarah. 
I once read that names which begin with the letter S are the names of snakes. S S Now, Suspiria. And mind you, this watch the one from 1980s. Do not watch the one from 2016. I watched both. I was not happy with the 2016 version, unfortunately. And the director himself used very nice words to describe the new one. Suspiria is a movie about girls in a dance school and things aren't what they seem. And as you go through the nights, you realize that the horrors of what the school is presenting. Very well done, super creepy. The effects are actually gruesome. I haven't cringed in a movie in a while, and cringe in a sense of like, this movie made me look away because of how painful it looked. Like some of the disturbing scenes, so it did a really good job of that. And mind you, I saw a movie where a guy had uh, sex with like, and that didn't make me cringe. So this movie does a good job making you cringe, let's just say that. Uh, highly recommend it. Very well paced movie. Throughout the whole movie, you're, you, you suspect everyone is being a killer. It's very well done, super creepy, and yeah. I'm gonna stop repeating myself and go to the next. Number five. I wanna see if that worked. It's probably coming out really stupid. But the movie Hush. Hush is a movie about a girl who is deaf. It's exciting shit. I like it. Uh. This is a great home invasion movie. It's pretty much about a girl alone in the woods who's deaf, and unfortunately, she has someone stalking her house and trying to break in. Super high pack, super energy based, uh, super exciting. And to see this girl go through all the shit that she's doing and doing it deaf. Mad respect, super fun movie. Highly recommend it. It's very action-packed. Kind of like The Purge in that sense, so I think everyone would enjoy this movie. This movie is very well done and definitely builds up the tension and excitement throughout the whole entire thing. So, yeah. Enjoy that one. Number four. Don't Breathe. Don't Breathe is about three kids trying to invade a old blind veteran's home, but shit goes downhill and he's a fucking psycho. How many of you are there? It's just me, man, all right? Just let me go, please. I think this movie kind of flew underneath the radar of a lot of people, and I hope it didn't, but if you guys didn't see it, then I highly recommend it. There's one really nasty scene at the end, so um, fair warning on that. But the movie is super well done and has Clay Thompson from, what's the show called? 13 Reasons Why. Did that, uh, this movie came out before his big break, but... It's really weird to go back and say like, oh shit, Clay's in this movie with a lot less emotions and feelings and the same weird haircut. Yeah. Next. As we swimming to number three, there's gonna be Lake Mungu. Mongo, Mungu, uh. Lake Mungo. Weirdly enough, this non-Asian movie. I know all you racists out there are assuming it's Asian, but it's not. It's actually an American movie. 
This movie came out at around oh nine oh eight. I should actually do research on when these movies come out, but I mean, like, the year doesn't really matter. Yeah. Unless you guys like anti-old movies, which is stupid. Because a lot of old movies are good, so... Diversify your tastes. Lake Mungu. Lake Mungu. I don't know if it's just you, but... Have you guys ever experienced those horror campfire stories? The super creepy tales of your cousins experiencing paranormal stuff? Have you ever had ghost stories told to you when you were younger and prevent you from sleeping for weeks on end and you had to sleep in your parents' bed? And yeah, I was like four years old, so it made me very emotional. Uh, have you ever uh, experienced a movie that does this and does a super well job of it? Lake Mungu, Lake Mungu. is a movie about a family that unfortunately has their daughter killed in a lake she drowns or something in the lake and what happens is after they find her body and realize that she is dead and everything's confirmed strange starts blah, 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 strange stuff starts happening and starts messing with the family a lot where they start seeing your ghost walking around the house they start seeing creepy events happen and this all takes place through their mouths so like story based and through pictures, nothing else. This movie doesn't show you much, but truly creeps the shit out of you because these actors are so good and it's a mockumentary. I think that's the term what it's called. But yeah, so so it's, so it's a semi-documentary the way that they present it. Super well done, super creepy. I got tingles down my back while I was watching this shit. Yeah, on to the next ones. Okay. This movie, <sighs> number two is The Strangers. Um. Yo, do I love this movie? I think I've watched this movie about four or five times and I usually never rewatch horror movies unless I'm purposely trying to scare someone. And the people who I watched it with, <laughs> I made sure that they definitely get scared of this movie while I was okay. Uh, <laughs> the Strangers is basically about a movie about two people who come back from an engagement party and the girl, unfortunately, does not accept the man's proposal. Now tell me, you are my girl. Sad. But as they're in the cabin in the woods, and it's always a cabin in the woods. I'm just saying, to prevent a horror stuff from from okay i'm good to prevent any type of horror thing from coming out i'm just saying please stay in a hotel where everyone is there please like stay away from a cabin in the woods that's all you gotta do to be safe half the time now to all americans including me the scariest thing to us is a home invasion because that's our private space, that's our bubble. And if you burst that bubble, we're scared shitless. So, this movie is basically about these two people fighting for their lives just to fight off these three random people who just hunted them because they felt like it. And there's nothing creepier than that. Super action-packed, super scary, super dangerous. I wanted to stop watching the movie the first five minutes because I felt very uncomfortable watching it. And I don't do that with any horror movies, so this movie is killer. Do not watch the second one, it's absolute shit. But the first one, really freaking good. Now, let's go to my number one. Oh man, funny games. <laughs> That's awesome, really, really. I know, just by a title, you'd be like, but Nico, this sounds like a stupid movie that's not even scary. Nah. This movie's scary, funny, makes you pissed, makes you sad for one scene. You'll find out why. But yes, watch the movie that came out in 2013 by the same director who made it back in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. This movie is so creepy and whoever I showed this movie to, everyone got mad at it because of how good it was, but they were mad about 
Like, the movie just makes you mad, but at the same time, it doesn't. Because I got mad watching the movie, but I loved it. Because it pissed me off. Oh, that's a really great set of clubs. Mr. Farber. What? Ah! Yeah! You want to call someone? An ambulance? Or, or the police? I don't know if you've ever seen a movie like that, but that's what this movie's like. This movie's super creepy, super good acting. I wanted to punch people in the face while watching the movie. Oh my god. And this is another home invasion movie. So this is about a rich family in their rich lake house. And unfortunately, they get some creepy neighbors coming into their place asking for eggs. And as they ask for eggs, shit goes down. And shit progresses and becomes worse and worse for them. We're gonna make a bet now. You bet that you'll be alive tomorrow at 9 o'clock and we bet that you'll be dead. Let's see if the family survives. So, my video is probably gonna be like 30 minutes long, who knows, but sorry. The words. <clears throat> so, oh my god, my back. I've been having lower back issues. So I've been very much suffering because I've been very inactive and I've been sleeping on like these beds instead of my other bed that I had in my old house. I need to like, start doing stretches and making my lower back active or something. I don't know how to do that, so I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'll awkward side note. But yes, this is my top 10. This is my... Uh, Wow, that was weird. This is my top 10 horror movies you probably didn't see. If you've seen any of these horror movies, I'm pretty impressed. But I feel like most people haven't seen them because a lot of these movies fell under the radar. Radar. And honestly, a lot of them are slept upon because most people do like jump scares. Eventually, I'll do a list on my favorite jump scares because jump scares are always great. But a lot of movies do it wrong. And if you want to watch a movie that does it right, what you probably have seen already, that's the issue. The two best jump scare movies I can think, no, I, I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do it now because then I'm gonna, not going to have a video. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry about my voice. It probably sounds even more monotone and more uh, bassy, but that's because I'm sick. So stop judging the shit out of me. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.